Yeah. Yo. Listen. I woke up in the morning, I strolled to school Ten to nine, got to Princess Avenue Walk past the dudes and the various crews The ones who think they're cool and the ones that know it too Walked these corridors since about 04 Since then I've seen school life, it's all to ignore I'm attached to this place, mobile free To IT, SSC, to B and C It feels like home, so hard to measure Welcome everybody to PHS Extra, Extra. Extra. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the heart of the school, this is PHS Extra. Here are your hosts, Ebony Edwards and Michael Farbridge. Hey, I'm Michael. And I'm Ebony. And together we are... Mebony. Welcome to the Mad Clan Ebony Show. Hello, I'm Ebony Edwards and welcome to PHS Extra, the first ever podcast. Let me introduce you to my assistant. We wanted Jedward, we couldn't get Jedward, we got the next best thing. It's like Jedward combined, it's Michael Fartbrace. Pray the Lord for the PH Extra podcast, everybody! We got the studio, we got the microphone, we got the producers, and we got the earphone thingies. But we got no Lady Gaga! Pray the Lord for that talented woman. Michael, this isn't the Michael Fart Race Impression Show. This is PHS Extra. Basically, it's for us to send out the news to everyone around school, comment on school life and, you know, a bit of educational stuff along the way. Yeah, but you know how I like to be the centre of attention all the time? Yeah, everyone knows that, Michael. All the time. It's like the Michael Show every day for me. Mm. Michael, 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 here I am. Sometimes it gets a little bit too annoying. <laughs> right, anyway, so did you miss me at part two? No, actually, it was very peaceful. Oh, so, do you think the Year 7s are settling in Ebony? Yeah, they should be settled in by now, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah they look like having a good time. Settled in quite well. How are you when you're in Year 7? I was good, I was. <laughs> Not what I've heard. I think you were quite naughty. No, I wasn't. Yes, I, you, no, were, you, no, you, no. you were a naughty child. No, I was not. I, I was spoke well to behaved. your mum. No, yeah. my mum knows I was well behaved in Year 7, actually. Not what I've heard, anyway. Whatever. Anyway, Michael, you said mature by now. Aren't you 18 now? You're an adult. You're officially an adult. And look at you. Well, I like to keep a streak of immaturity. It spices up my life. Spices or spiked by uh, look at your hair. <laughs> this hair is a work of art, OK? Mm. Don't go disrespecting it, please. Anyway, I still can't get over the fact that it's been half term already. We're in the new term. It's oh nearly God. Christmas. <gasps> it's Christmas! <laughs> no, it's not officially Christmas until the Coca-Cola advert comes <gasps> out. Oh, God. The holidays, holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. <laughs> Oh when that God. comes out, I just get the Home Alones out. Oh my Classic God, films. I'm not a fan of Home Alone. What? The Santa Claus trilogy. Santa Claus what? 1, 2 and 3. I've got it on DVD oh. for Master. It's <laughs> I've only watched number 1. No, Home Alone 1 and 2, but then oh. it goes downhill from there. Santa 3 and 4, Claus. just don't even pick up. But Santa 1 and 2, Claus. Childhood best. memories. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, let's get enough of Christmas because it's not here yet. No, okay then. Swiftly moving on then, guys. I think it's time to head over to the fabulous Miss Ian Jameson with the PHX. As extra news. Hello, I'm Rooney Jameson and this is the PHS News. Firstly, the multi-purpose sports facility, also known as the Mugger, is open for use after the October half term. The pitch will be used for PE lessons and extracurricular activities. Head of, th head of PE, Mr Evans, said it is a great opportunity for the staff and pupils. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt that it's going to transform the, uh, the PE experiences of the pupils within the high school. I think it's over 40 years now that uh, the idea for an extra PE facility has been in the offing, and it's only now that it's really started to come to fruition. It's going to provide a massive opportunity for us to improve our standards of our curricular PE, particularly, I have to say, for the girls who've had to endure having to go outside and onto a facility that's certainly not safe, but also now they're going to be able to go out and enjoy their sport a lot more, particularly, it has to be said, for their netball. Also, the school's GCSE and A-level results this year have seen it enter the second quartile when compared to other schools in the region. The results, which included 80% of the pupils getting a grade A star to C, have been highlighted by Mr Pearce as a great step forward for the school. We're absolutely delighted with the way the exams turned out last summer. The people in Year 11 did so well 
and it basically meant that 80% of them achieved five high-grade passes, which puts us in the top quarter of all secondary schools in Wales. It's brilliant. It's the best we've ever done. The new term will see the much-awaited return of Take Me Out, organised by Brathonic, one of the sixth form young enterprise team. Last year's show was extremely popular, so be sure not to miss it. Finally, Friday the 18th of November is Children Need Day and during the run-up to the day there are going to be fundraising activities taking place in the library such as the Sponsor Hour Spots and many more. Also, library loyalty cards are now available for all years. See Miss Southerton or Miss Mountford in the library for more details. That's all for now. I'm Ernie Jameson, keeping you up to date with the school news. Over and out. So that was Ioni with the news. Thanks for that, Ioni. So, Michael, what do you think of this mugger? It sounds good, doesn't it? About time they got that in school. Well, I think it's got a bit of a funny name, doesn't it? Mugger. But uh, I do think it'll be quite a good asset what? to the school. What do you mean, funny name? Mugger? Doesn't it stand for a multi-use games area? Mugger? I have one near my house. What? Does he come in through your kitchen window? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you on about? Mugger, as in robber who mugs you. Oh, I didn't oh, get that at all. Totally wasted on you, Ebony. Anyway, are you going to go back on this Take Me Out again this year? Uh, I'm not sure. Contemplating whether to go or not. I think I embarrassed myself a bit too much last time. Uh, I suppose. Wouldn't want you wild side coming back out, would we? Oh, and no. more of Ioni's cheesy chat-up lines. Yeah, I think we both embarrassed ourselves a bit too much. Yes, I agree. Anyway, I think it's time we acted a bit more intellectual. Cool. And get on with the Welsh phrase of the week. Welsh phrase of the week! Borida, sit oity. Borida, sit oity. Good morning, how are you? Borida, sit oity. How useful is that? Come on, Michael. Borida, sit oity. Now we can use that every single day. Be fluent in Welsh showtime. Well, I don't have to, you know. I've already got my A in GCSE Welsh. Uh, okay, okay. I think I've heard that story at God knows how many times now. You can stop bragging about your A in Welsh. Why, Michael, what did you get in Welsh? Well, we have best change the topic now because that's not important really, is it? I'm sure it's time to induce our, introduce our interview guest now, the one and only Mr Hall. Woo, Mr Hall! Hello, Mr Hall. How are you? Hello. Welcome to the podcast. You're very honoured to be here. I know you've been excited. Oh, I couldn't wait. <laughs> So, first question now, go on, hit it, Mike. When did you first join the school, Mr Hall? First time was 15 years ago. You've been here that long? No, I went away and came back. I've been here four years this time. Mm. Did you come in as a maths teacher then? Yes. No wonder you've got no hair 15 years at this school. <laughs> she <laughs> <did>. <laughs> So why did you become a teacher then? Well, to be fair, when I was little, I always wanted to be a fire engine. <laughs> <laughs> When I went to university, I decided I wanted to be a policeman because I really fancy beating people. <laughs> but I went to South Africa and I ran out of money yeah. and I couldn't get home. So I thought, I haven't got the hands for manual labour. So someone said, you're good at maths, have a go at teaching. So I did. And when I came back, signed up for the teaching course, then I realised you can't actually hit children in this country. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are lots of ways around uh, it and it's good fun. So here I am. It's quite a good story, that, I believe. So it's not a story, it's real. <laughs> it's quite a good thing. I think everyone will find that very interesting. Yeah. So anyway, why do you think maths is the best subject? Well, we do lots of puzzles. We have lots of challenge. We play in the Nintendo DSs with Year 7s. Mm -hmm. We've got a voting system called Word War, where you can control things on the screen and text answers oh, in. Oh, I play that. It's wild. I've never Just played like, that. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh. I bet you want to be one of them, don't you? I'll yeah, pass play British Bulldogs and run across the screen. <laughs> well, I can tell them that. <laughs> uh, we've got my maths, which is mm. good. So, how can maths benefit the students? Well, you need it to get a job, don't you? Mm. Everybody needs maths. You need to be able to count your money when you get paid. <laughs> but how can you persuade students that they need it? Because some people just go, like, oh, I don't need maths. We just tell them, or oh, you need it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, who is your favourite student in the whole school? Michael, you can't read this. Does this say Ebony? Yeah. Yeah, No, it's you, darling. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so, if anyone was struggling with maths, what could they do? Log on to My Maths. Look at the online lesson. Go through it all. Try and get better. Mm -hmm. And keep trying to do your homework until you get it right. Get it amber or green. Yeah. And if you're really struggling, come and see one of us and we'll help you. So, let's hear more about this My Maths. It's been going for quite a few years now, hasn't it? It has. Um, we bought it four years ago. And... It, you can you, we set homework on it, which is great because it's the maths department's cop out from doing marking. <laughs> no, so that's um, why I use it so much then. Oh, yes, 
but it analyzes how you're doing and it suggests ways to improve and every time you go on you get a different set of questions yeah it's really good i like it actually even though i do win my chair is speaking like <laughs> <laughs> so final question i've got a stats question for you i know you don't like stats but i thought i'd give you one anyway what is the probability that one day you will have hair like Michael Fart braces? It's probably a nine, because I actually shave my hair to look like <laughs> <my hair. laughs> yeah. But in a real world, it'll never happen, will it? Oh, no, this is a Unless you do beauty. that Wayne Rooney thing and get a transplant. <laughs> yeah, I might be able to learn to play football as well. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's a lot of the end of the interview then. Looks like it. Anything else you want to say? Final comments? Thank you. Well, thank you for coming here. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Hall. Everyone, that was Mr. Hall, Head of Maths. Thanks for coming. <laughs> that was our interview with Mr. Hall. Thank you very much, Mr. Hall. We're now going to move on to Song of the Week, which we've chosen as Johnny Robertson singing Kylie Minogue live on The X Factor. Ooh, Gary! that wasn't it Johnny oh, I like him on X Factor but do you think they're like making him a bit too Wagnery? y yeah, no well, I think he's really good it's like he's like a drag queen in real life so I think that song suited him yeah but they're humiliating him a little bit though aren't they no it's like his job he's used to doing that well but he fit on his first audition though he sang really well and now they're just making him sing Kylie yeah I still think it was a really good song I oh, loved it my favorite's Craig anyway oh he's so cute Craig isn't he oh, just no. wanna Squeeze his little cheeks. <laughs> you gotta love Sammy, you know, from real. Big enough the support Woo! for Sammy! <laughs> yeah, doing it all oh. for all his North Walians out there. Oh, how are you liking the new judges, Eb? I love Kelly. Girl, you put it down! <laughs> oh, I love her too. I like that Louis and Talisa as well. They make me laugh. Louis? Yeah, I like him. Do a good and Louis impression then, Guam. <laughs> no, I can't do Louis. Okay, then. What anyway. about Gary? I love Gary. No, I find him a bit too, you know, serious. No, like. he's funny when he when he told um, Johnny that he looked like he's about to go in the oven. That's funny. <laughs> God, yeah. Anyway, let's move on and go to and Harold Roberts and Joe Roberts from Year Eleven who are doing Sports Watch. Precious Extra Sports Talk. Hello and welcome to Sports Talk. Peter on PHS Extra. Let's start with the headlines with Adam Harrod. Hi. So with the London Olympic Games. Only 282 days away, the Young Ambassadors and the Addis Stars have relaunched with a new team led by Sam Hughes and Katie Hewitt. They recently attended a training event with the Olympic and gold medalist and world champion 400m runner Daniel Keynes, where they were supported by their team and other local schools. Outside, the new Astro Turf will be ready after half term, however. It'll um, not be open at lunch or break. And after the week off, the sports hall will also be closing as it's being redone, along with new windows, floor, the lot. Unfortunately, PE will be done outside now throughout the coldest part of the season. Also, recently, the Year 9s and Year 11 football teams triumphed in their recent games. The Year 9s won against Uskol Dinas Brown 5 2, and the Year 11s beat Mold Allen on an amazing 7 0. Today we're joined with Chris Roberts from our school football team. All right, Chris, how are you feeling? Um, very well, thank you, Joseph. Yourself? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, what do you think of your chances this year? Uh, I think we could win it this year. I mean, we won it in year seven. Uh, I think we've got a you know great side and great management staff there, so I think we can win it this year. Yeah. Um, who do you think will will make the biggest impact this year? 
Well, apart from myself, um, I think it's it's got to be either Connor or Ross. I think uh, you know leading the side and you know just always battling away. So I think it'd be them two, yeah. yeah. Since you're so great, Chris, who do you say was leading the side? Well, I think leading the side, um, it's got to be Ross at the back. He just organises everything and just deals with everything. So, oh, but yeah. isn't Connor the captain? It, yeah, he is. But I think he's more of a you know quiet captain, leads by example sort of thing. And Ross <laughs> is the guy that would shout at you and have a go if you did something wrong. Chris, who's inspired you to be the better, to be a better player? Um, I think you know all the P staff here in the school are you know really uh, great, and I think you know they inspire to uh, you know do what you you know to do your best and stuff and you know try and win the games. Anyone in particular? Uh, if I had to pick one, probably Mr. Jones. You know he's always he's always up for a bit of laugh, a bit of banter, and he said you know he says the game obviously easy with no airs or braces. Who brings the best banter? Um, well I'm on the receiving end of most banter because you know the haircut is not not the greatest at the moment, but. Uh, I'd have to say I think Seb or Ben probably give the most fun round. Who's got the best haircut then, Chris? It's got to be uh, Seb himself, hasn't it? You know, he's got his Zuko haircut there in Greece. So, it's, yeah, it's got to be Seb. <laughs> so, Connor Shackleton, nice of you to join us today. Hello. Yeah. So, how do you think your team played on Monday? Uh, yeah, I think we did all right. Knocked the ball around quite nice. Uh, yeah, I think we did all right, yeah. Obviously, as team captain, you see the ins and outs of your team. Who do you think performed above standard? Uh, Ryan Bateman, I think he did really well. Uh, but Chris, he did all right. He scored. No, oh, that's a great finish. Thing. So thanks for joining us today, Chris and Connor. Thank you for having us. As always, been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. And that's it for today on the Sports Talk on PHS Extra podcast. That was on Harrod Roberts and Joe Roberts with Sports Watch. Thank you very much. Now we've got a bit of a special treat for you. We've got the joke of the week by wait for it, the head girls. Alice Loftus and Olivia Wister Hughes. Olivia, should we say the one about the bin? Oh no, come on, Alice, that one's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think even I could do a better joke than that. How do you annoy Lady Gaga? How do you annoy Lady Gaga, man? Poke of it! Anyway, Michael, enough of the immaturity. Now let's get serious. We know how important reading and writing is, don't we? Yes, of course. So here we have Lewis Davison and James Jones from Year 9 to give us five tips for improving literacy skills. Hello and welcome to Literacy Tips. Honestly, with all the podcasts I have been on, this is the worst. Therefore, I stated as the worst podcast ever. Ha! <laughs> that was funny. No, it was not funny. It was amusing. Literacy tip number one. Use more interesting words. Hey, what is the capital of Wales? Der Cardiff. No, W. W is the capital of Wales because it's the letter W. <sighs> Literacy tip number two. Always use capitals. After that, use connectives as it joins sentences up. That was tip number three, I said. Don't just use said. Why ever not? Because what you said is was boring. Tip number four, don't just use said. Next tip, reread your work. If you're a professional businessman and you use bad spelling, you're going to look fake. For example, this is an advertisement I saw in the internet. Buy your cheap iPhone-y. And, uh, obviously that was wrong and I got a virus on my computer. And if you get 100% in your English exam, thank us. Adios, cheerio, ciao, and au revoir. You probably shouldn't be used those in English exams, though. Toodle who? Thanks to Louie and Jane for their brilliant advice. I hope that's helped a lot of you out there. Anyway, I think that's all for this week, folks, but do join us again on PHS Extra. Next time we will have more guest interviews, more Welsh phrases, more amazing jokes, and much more. We're the show that just keeps on giving. Feel free to give us an email at phs.extra at hotmail.co.uk. That's all lowercase letters. And tell us what you, you think of the show and anything you would like to include in our next show. Yes, that's phs.extra at hotmail.co.uk, all in lowercase. Hope to hear from you soon, guys. We would like to thank everyone who has contributed to the show, especially Tommy James, our studio engineer, Alice Loftus and Olivia Wister Hughes for producing our show today. Also to Liam Wilden for opening the show and of course Mr Rob Rogers. Thank you very much. 
Now, to finalise the show, we have a comment off our Welsh friend, Vanessa Shanessa Jenkins. So, Vanessa, what did you think of the show? Oh, it was cracking, all right? Keep...